So today on Living With A Tad, we caught ourselves a chair. And we got little drink holders. really would recommend coming out especially if the weather's nice it was beautiful and swimming in the, with the uh, fish and everything was really cool so today we've got a short sail is it short sail no oh we're not doing a short sail today today we're going to Cas miles. Cascais I think it's called 45 miles sail so hopefully we'll get some good sailing in we've got about 10 knots of wind at the minute that might be cool so uh, we'll be either using the cruising tube but hopefully we'll get some sailing in because Beautiful weather for it. We headed from Belinga to Cascais, took a few hours and we anchored outside the marina. We've had a really busy morning. Um, last night we obviously anchored, but the wind picked up to 35 knots, I think. Yeah. Around 35 knots. And uh, we held fine, but it was really uncomfortable. The tender kept bashing and flipping over. And it wasn't nice at all. So we decided to come into the Cascais marina. I'm gonna have to learn how to pronounce this. I'm not sure this is right. It might be Cascas. Um, but the only thing is there's a festival on so not only does our extra one meter make so for a 12 meter yacht it's 40 35 euros to stay the night but because we're 41 for so the extra four means we have to pay 45 euros and then this weekend there's a festival on so that's bumped plus the price 6%. up to plus six yeah. percent so instead of us paying 80 euros it's 115 for the two nights so it's rather expensive but i'm happy that we've been able to have a shower sort things out and now we're meeting up with a guy who met us on instagram and he's going to show us around portugal so we're kind of looking forward to this it's very very warm Really good day yesterday. We got a tour around Cascais. Cascais. Uh, he did pronounce it for us, but I've actually forgotten again. I think it's Cascais. Um, but the the city, or is it a city? Town. Town, Town. is beautiful. Um, the weather is always amazing, and it is always very very windy here. So we're in the marina. A uh, guy or guy showed <laughs> us around yesterday. Um, it was really nice. We got to taste some local food. 
so that was cool and we found a hot dog stand which he said that um does the best hot dogs around here so me and matthew's mission for today is uh walk a little way up the street and go taste these cool hot dogs and try and restock on our uh, fridge supply which is running very low So we've walked up here, Guy uh, recommended this uh, hot dog place, says it's, it's the best ones in uh, Portugal, so we've come up. Paige has got herself a chilli do dog, and I've got the completo, which is cheese and cabbage mm, and, sauce and all sorts. So let's see what they like. Is it good? A good. <laughs> really good. We've just got back from our wander of eating lots of hot dogs and Matthew looks very happy with himself. So well, We found one of these for a fiver. Do you want it? Uh, very Portuguese and uh, we've decided to get one to remind us of Portugal. It's got the cork which we've seen everywhere and the uh, memorial of the uh, tall ship. So I'm just sticking it there. Oh and we found some of these shot glasses that we wanted to get. Oh, of skulls. we have found the coolest shop ever. Let me let me get the bag. Sorry, my mum gingerbread jammies. <laughs> Ignore my pajamas. I'm not filmed you. Oh, now we've seen your pajamas. Okay. If you ever go to Cash 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 Cash, I'll put the name in the description. But this place is. Epic. It's at the marina. Yeah, it is so cool. It's got loads of random stuff in it, but it's awesome. I'm very happy with this shop. So Matthew's planning tomorrow's journey. Um, I don't know where we're going, so we'll find out in a second. 21 to get to the corner, and then around that, up to here. 21 plus six. 27, so 30 miles we'll say. 30 miles, we're going round to I can't pronounce it, uh, Sesimbra. Yeah, we'll say whatever you said. Where are we at the yeah. minute? We're here. Okay. Cascais. 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 I don't know, I'm not yes. sure. Yes, Cascais. There. So we're going to go straight down and around. An anchor just here. See my pilot book over there if you wanted to look. If that anchorage is no good, we carry on. And you can't really see it on this chart. But there's uh, in the flats, in the uh, shallows here, you can anchor just down from a fort in the oh, mouth of this river. That sounds really cool. And then after that, we'll be going from here down to Signs, where we can anchor out here. And then this chart's done. So uh, we'll be done. And then we're off. We'll carry on down the uh, south of Portugal until we get around to the uh, old. Garve, I think it's pronounced. Elgarve, which is meant to be really nice. After our hot dog mission this morning, we came back to Nova and we have been editing videos and doing some jobs, getting some work done, and now the sun is going down and we're going out for campus. Bacon mushrooms, chippies, and Matthew. So yesterday, Guy explained this mast here to us. A uh, guy came in with a super yacht, about £2 million yacht, needed his uh, mass fixing so he got the uh, local company to do it. They fell out, he refused to pay, so they kept the mast and he went somewhere else to get it finished and he had to get a new mast. So they've got a, a good old sized mast here just stuck at the side of the marina. We've just left the marina. And we decided to literally anchor straight outside. There's a festival on, um, the Seafarers Festival. So there's live music and things on tonight. And the wind's slowed down enough now that it's not um, rocking us around too much. So we're just gonna chill out on the boat today and watch some live music later. 
We're just setting off from the anchorage just outside Casquesa Marina. Uh, we had a little trouble bringing up the anchor. Um, so we have a chum down at the same time. So I think our chum got jammed. We ended up dragging the chain back out. Oh, wait, Matthew had to, did you have to power through it? Yeah, I, I, I grabbed up and then we pulled the anchor out of the ground. It was jammed on something. It does say in the pilot book there's some uh, that it's fouled that round, so you should really put on a tripping line. So yeah, we'd advise putting on a tripping line just in case your anchor does get jammed like ours did. But we're free and we're heading out today. It's a 30 mile sail, I believe. We have currently seven knots, but we should get some good wind going out of here. Um, we're really looking forward to getting to a new place now, so happy days. I'm gonna see if I can film this little tugboat because they're really cool and he's towing a little bridge or something. Let's see if we can get him on film. Like little man syndrome. There's the bridge thing he's towing. And there is little tug. It's he's going on a working platform. Puts down the legs and then it's going to sort of dig it. So he's probably for making moving sandbanks and stuff. Probably for making or moving sandbanks, but it's quite a cool little powerful thing. Showing that, that at Mach 10, and then behind it, you can see the big container ship that's not doing anything at the minute. Matthew's got a new toy to try. It's a, I think it's called a popper. It is, yeah. So he's going to try and use it, and I'll, I'll get a bit closer. Hopefully, Matthew. I haven't got a fish. I've just got a lot of tension on the rod. So there's the, there's the popper, and there's our jelly. Um, we haven't caught anything big yet, apart from mackerel back in there, uh, back at home. And they're not big. And they're not big, yeah. So there's the popper. Apparently it goes pop, 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 pop. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll film as he pops. Maybe we'll see if we can get some footage of him popping to explain what we're rabbiting on about. We're no experts, and you'll see there's a little <laughs> splashing thing at the back of the boat. And that's Matthew's popper fish. Yeah, we'll see what happens with that. He says he thinks it's uh, supposed to look like a fish in distress. So that's what it said on the boat. Well, it definitely looks like something's in distress, so we'll see where if we catch anything. Probably just a lump of seaweed. Probably. just preparing to put up the cruising chute a bit like it's over here with Matthew um, but I noticed something red and it looked like a, it wasn't a lobster pot I don't know if you can see yet but there you go and after uh, a while we realized it's actually a blow up chair and we are gonna go get that salvage right <laughs> here we come it's like a, probably going to be a baby's chair or something. So today on Living With A Tad, we caught ourselves... A chair! And we got little drink holders. Not bad, that. Woo! I'll be uh, sitting in that while I had an anchorage later. Catch of the day! I'm definitely going to float around in this bad boy around the back of the boat. <laughs> with me drink, me beer in here. <laughs> Cruising around. Yeah, Catch of the day. Not a bad fan in that. I it's told you it didn't look like a lobster pot. It's because that, that's open. Oh, and this, this one down. We had only just put up the cruising chute when... Oh, 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 there's Catch 2 of the day. There's a rubber ring. So let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. So Catch 2 of the day, and this is our new one. Let's show you this. Big donut. Fully inflated, so that's us a Coca Cola chair and a big donut. Happy catching. No fish, but inflatable goodies. Captain's chair, Coca Cola yeah, chair. Forward! <laughs> <captain's chair. laughs> Show everyone the donut because mine you couldn't see the actual size of the thing. <laughs> I can't believe we caught two inflatables. <laughs> it's really windy at Cash Cash Chaos. 
or wherever it's called, so everything uh, gets washed up. So maybe we'll find more. <laughs> I don't think we need any more. Maybe one more for a visitor. <laughs> It is really beautiful. If I do this, you can see the beach, and maybe if I do this, you can see the mountains. It's really pretty. Um, we lost the chair. Yeah, we lost the Coca-Cola chair when we was anchoring, so that was somewhere out there. But a guy just went and picked it up with a kayak and paddled off with it. So we had the donut, so we're still happy, and probably the chair wouldn't have fit us on it anyway. So we're gonna go for a swim because it's boiling and I'm all pink and sweaty. Are you just gonna jump? You're gonna just slowly do it. Probably not gonna go in at all. That's worse. It's best to just jump. Don't go. Just jump. No. You jump. I will do when I've stopped filming, yeah? Stop filming, jumping in. Come on. Jump fucking in, fish. Pete says she's gonna jump in. Yeah, well, it's better, isn't it? Get over quickly. And it's boiling and the breeze is stopping now. I'm gonna freeze to death, aren't I? Ah, I can't, the tender's in the way. Excuses, excuses. Can we move the tender? Can we do a take two? Alright, Paige is going to jump in. I'm regretting my decisions. It keeps doing this freeze though, it's not warm. How cold are we talking? Not that cold. I'm impale myself on something when I jump At in. At 10 metres? Yeah. Well, I'll just tell my mum and dad that it was you that we... Debating, Matthew. Just let me have five minutes. I didn't jump in, I lowered myself in the donut, and then Matthew's decided he wants to lower himself in the donut. So he's splashing along behind the boat, crying for his mum. <laughs> it's cold, it's not warm yet. So, Paige has cooked us dinner. She's done us some chicken with some uh, herbs, etc. Which is nice there. Mm. And a pasta with, uh, what have you done in there? There's chorizo, cheese. Chorizo and tomato puree. And tomato puree. We've got some lettuce and uh, good old reggae reggae sauce. Join us next time as Matthew does some laundry. We pass the end of the world and sail to Lagos. Thanks for joining us guys. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you want to give us a thumbs up, that's down there. And also if you want to give us a subscribe, that would be a great help. That should be over here somewhere near Paige's head maybe um if you want to catch up with us in real time then we're on facebook and instagram and we've put links in the description below so hopefully we'll see you again next week bye for now bye bye